Well, this week is National Pollinator Week, and now that it's finally summer, the critters are out and buzzing. 3 News Now reporter Jill Lampkins learned about the importance of pollination and what we can all do to help. Birds, bees, butterflies, and even some types of flies, all pollinators in gardens like this. But what makes pollinators so important? I don't think people realize, but the majority of our foods, if we did not have pollinators, we would not have a lot of our food. Annette Langan is a master gardener at St. Leo's Church. The garden attracts many pollinators and is carefully set up to help them. You want to group them together so that then as the bees and the butterflies and um, the flies are, are flying around, they're attracted to a group, a cluster. Grouping different pollinating plants can help the bugs have access to different types of food. Just like humans, Annette says the pollinators enjoy having a variety of options. We added additional plants so that you have diversity because with the pollinators, they it's like us. We, you know, you don't want to eat just one thing all the time and the pollinators need different plants too. People can also help pollinators by planting flowers that bloom throughout the spring, summer and fall. And as a tip, planting native species might make it easier if you want to have your own garden. Uh, because the majority of them are native, uh, they have what's called a taproot, so they go straight down and uh, that's why they do so well. Native plants don't have to be watered as much and can grow and thrive mostly with the help of Mother Nature. When visiting the garden, Annette tried to find a caterpillar to show me, but we didn't have any luck until right before I was headed out, we found this little guy who will one day turn into a swallowtail butterfly and help pollinate gardens like this. And Annette says that you don't have to have a garden this big, but if you do want to get into gardening, you can start small to help your pollinator friends. In Northeast Omaha, Jill Lampkins, 3 News Now. According to an extension office we reached out to, while some may use pesticides to kill invasive species, weeds, and plant diseases, it's important to be careful about where you use them based on where pollinators feed. It's important to do your research before you spray.